with the UK's top Etsy keywords for February 2024. Let us take the guesswork out of your Etsy SEO. We'll show you the most popular UK shopper searches. Then we'll analyse what these trending keywords tell us about what's selling best on Etsy in the UK right now. If this is your first time here, the lovely Jan over at the E-Rank blog creates these reports. This is just a summary of the trends she has found. To learn more, or if you prefer reading, pop over to the blog. Here's February's top 20 Etsy keywords. This month, there are eight climbers. That's searches that didn't make it into last month's top 20. And only one screamer. That searches that were not even in last month's top 1,000. And here are the hottest shopper searches listed with their current rank first. Several of these might be related to Mother's Day, and we hope E-Rank members in other countries are reading along. The reason? Of Etsy's top countries, the UK celebrates Mother's Day earliest. It's March the 10th this year. Eek! Hold on while I see what gifts Etsy has. <laughs> For you sellers in the rest of the world, pay attention to the UK trends here, as the rest of the world may be very similar when they have their Mother's Day in a couple of months. Let's start with number nine, jewellery. This may look strange that jewellery is twice on the UK top 20 this month. That seems to be Etsy's fault. In the UK, we spell jewellery the way on the bottom there. So why are so many people suddenly spelling it the US way? Actually, it's unlikely that we've had a mass influx of Americans. This is more a case of Etsy promoting on the homepage searches that it knows are popular. On the homepage, there's a section for jewellery. UK spelling, but when clicking, Etsy records the search the US way. But it's still good news. People are clicking on jewellery when shown by Etsy and they're searching for it themselves organically too. And the Etsy algorithm can see both spellings are relevant for each search. So don't worry about trying to use both spellings in your listing. Pick the spelling that makes sense for most of your customers. The one and only screamer of the month. This is again an Etsy driven search, gift for mom. On the Etsy homepage, there's a section for gift for mom spelt with a U, but when you click on it, Etsy's registering as a search in the US spelling. Hmm, I wonder if that search term will be being used on the Etsy search page in other countries before International Mother's Day. Worth adding to a tag or two if it's relevant to your items. Let's look at Mother's Day. It's currently ranking 17th. I've compared this to the US trend. We can see last year the peak was a month later because Mother's Day in the rest of the world is later. So hopefully you UK sellers are doing well just now. But if you can ship internationally, keep your Mother's Day items listed and hopefully get a second boost in sales with a second Mother's Day rush. Keyring. Keyring is a surprising search term, very popular in the UK with 59.5% of the shopper searches, and that's to only 19.5% in the US. How interesting. Don't the rest of the world enjoy quirky keychains? They do make useful gifts. And with a peak last year being February last year and this year, it's possible they're great Mother's Day gifts or Valentine's Day gifts. The last two climbers are mug and crochet. Although mug is a climber on the top 20 lists, its search volume has actually dropped a little. That is just because January's top 20 list was more competitive with more highly searched for keywords. Now mug has had the chance to get back into the top 20. And although down a little year on year, mug and mugs has fairly good search volume all year long. Or more simply, mugs are always popular on Etsy in the UK. And crochet has climbed quite a bit from January. It seems to have lots of ups and downs, but it's always pretty well searched for. I actually think this might be getting even more popular as all my social media algorithms have been stalking me with stunning crocheted items. In fact, hold on. <laughs> I was stalked with this pattern for this so much over Christmas that I ended up hunting it down and making it. And I don't even crochet. Jan promises we'll keep an eye on crochet on Etsy for you. Oh, and talking of the keywords we're watching. 
Bracelet and furniture are still in the top 20. And keycaps and art? Keycap still looks promising, although dipping from its spike last month, but the competition and click-through rate still make it a keyword to consider. And art's also dipped back down, but it was strange to have art ranking quite so high last month. There are still loads of great art-related search terms that are popular on Etsy. We'd not recommend focusing on the very broad single-word keyword of art, but that does show us that buyers love all sorts of art on Etsy. As always, we could keep on digging into this fun data. Jan even found a very unexpected spike of the month. So if you want more details on these trends, check out the blogs. But for now, it's off to Canada we go. We love hearing what you think about these or any other trends you've spotted. You're welcome to join us in Erank's private Facebook group. With over 27,000 members from all around the world, someone friendly is always up and about.